friends, this is Kachi, also known as Delacaba, and we are back with Fishing Planet. We are currently at 13,575 in-game bucks, as well as six gold coins. In our last episode, we done a whooped them in Emerald Lake, and we've got a number of things unlocked here. We've got Naharan, which we have, of course, unlocked. We've also got Falcon Lake unlocked off over here. And then on the other side of the planet, of course, we have Les Nivila and uh, Gintrenusen. Yeah, Gintrenusen. Um, which, of course, are European maps. I believe this is actually a Dutch map. I don't think I've ever actually fished it um, and so we need to decide where we're going and what we are doing. Stop moving. Thank you very much. Um, I guess it would make good sense to uh, go to the Naharan River since it actually was our next unlock. Um, it's 3300 to make the trip. Yowza. And then, of course, we're going to need a license for that. Alright, well, we are going to start traditional right on over here. New private room, go fishing. There we go, and the Heron Daredevil 1, that got us a thousand back, which is why I wasn't too concerned about it. But as you can see, this is a lovely spot to start. Largemouth bass out there. There are um, catfish out in that and along there. There we go. Let's see what we got here. We got a jumping jack, whatever he is. Oh, yep, he managed to get free jumping. Oh, that's all right. The big jump on. Stop it, shoot. He's gonna shake himself up if we're not careful here. There he is. Come here, you. Young largemouth bass. All right, we're gonna we're gonna keep him, and we're gonna swap over to. Our yellow casting spoon. Well, no, actually not. Let's do our gold quarter ounce with the fog. We'll see if that wakes wakes up one of the bigger fellas. Snagged.
So they seem to be interested in the narrow spoons this morning, but in terms of classic spoons, they just are not giving us any real response. Well, that time he did. It's actually right up here at the at the weeds that we've picked up fish both times. All right, we'll keep him. We're gonna we're gonna move to the next location here. There are good bass over here, number one. And number two, there's also redfin pickerel. And I think we're going to swap back over to our red devil. Might be time to throw that uh, soft crawfish on there. a small mouth. There we caught the rock there for a second. And uh, there is our redfin pickerel. Can keep him. behaving oddly all of a sudden. I think the fish came up and tapped it and missed. And that's why suddenly our lift and drop went all wonky. Here you. There we go. Nice large mouth, 149. Well, we're going to do a cast with the nymph anyway. It's a slow sinker, but it's a little stinker, I'm telling you. The small mouth especially like it. The red fin picker all like it. The flathead catfish will take it. We 
get a very nice jigging action. Oh, you... Oh, he took a whack at it, but he didn't... He didn't hit it hard enough to hook himself, and I didn't set the hook fast enough. Really? Sorry about that, little dude. You can go your own way. Heron Eco Friend, one gold, catch a certain number of underwater items. Okay. So he snagged the toidle. Alright, well we're gonna I'm just basically hitting the spots, seeing if the uh fish are um, biting the way they used to in the locations that they used to, and the answer is yes, it certainly appears that way. This is that same little little bay there. They certainly appear to be. This here is really good for panfish. It's that same bay. And down over here, this is where we catch the red ear. There's uh, smallmouth out in there and over in the rocks over there and that's what I'm gonna do is see if uh, a smallmouth is interested in taking a whack at this nymph the uh, crawdad and the tube are actually a better bet than the nymph over here but I want to just give it a give it a try and then uh, right along that rock face right there we can often pick up American Shad uh, I had a follow there he is he actually came up and broke the surface when he took a whack at it He's giving us a little bit of a fight. Come on, you. nice little smallmouth and so just just that little bit of catching just to give us a sense of perspective here if we go to our our keep net we're at 692 already with just these few fish that we caught um, the thousand dollars we got when we arrived as our you know reward for our initial trip here along with the the money that we've already earned um, we're well on our way to breaking even. Let's look at the map. Um, where we are currently is down here. There's that rock face and there's those, those boulders. I'm actually going to hop across to the other side. Gonna hop across to the other side and what you'll see is that that looks back into where that old pickup truck is and we might be able to get to some kitty fish right here see there's the old truck right there and I was trying to cast out here to the catfish and so I'm gonna that
that is actually where we started casting out into there to catch those bass. So we're on the other side of the bank from there. Trying to get where I can run my lure along this uh, weed line without um, absolutely being guaranteed to snag and there's just not a place where I can get to there. Erg. Okay, well. Uh, let's go to our bait. Oh, I'm out of minnows. Crap. Well, let's put a crawfish cut on there. Put a crawfish cut on there. See if maybe we can get a really nice large mouth to take it. Because they like those crawfish cuts. Not an ideal angle for the for the bell, but the large mouth lay out there by that down by those uh, dead trees. And the Oh yeah, see. That happened in a big hurry. Come on. Yeah, on that, like a house of fire. Like a house of fire. Level 15, we got 1,500 and a gold. That's great. Oh, and we unlocked the, the Neptune kayak, which is not a bad thing. There we go. New personal record. He's worth 168. Yeah, he's decent. Alright, I'm going to put this away, we're going to pick up our rod pod, where'd you go rod pod, there it is, and we're going to go back down the bank in this direction that we came from. Set that rod pot up right here. Bust this back out. And we're going to drop it right at the rock face there. See if maybe a shad will take that. The shad actually prefer the shrimp. But we don't have room. We do not have room. We're going to try this fella while we're waiting. Let's see if we pick up a small mouth with it. Kind of maximize our situation here. You can see it's a very slow, very slow sinking lure, which is not a bad thing. It does make it a tiny bit tough to maintain a three point lift and drop. But we pretty much got that down, Pat. But this is a smallmouth killer. That's why I chose this particular color. It's a it's a good one to to use in in multiple water bodies. Now, come on there, bud. Bring that up just a touch. Wow, my line is down to 70%. I forgot about that. We're going to have to sort that out soon. He's giving us a fight. Yeah, 
I think we've got a got a good one here. He's certainly acting like he's a good one. Phone you. Trophies my mouth. That's what I was hoping. Once he got his fight going, he was certainly acting like he was a trophy.